um, had received an injury to her eye, tear gas round five by police. Uh, thoughts are that she may lose her sight. In the last hour, the airport said check-in desks won't reopen until at least tomorrow morning. Our chief correspondent, Stuart Ramsey, is at the airport for us. It looks pretty peaceful, Stuart. Yeah, it's... <laughs> last flight has come in now, either from the US or from Europe. The long-haul flights were being allowed in the airport now, completely closed. What's going to happen to the demonstrators? What are the police going to do? Stuart's on it and will update us as soon as he has more. Meantime, Nigel Farage has ridiculed members of the royal family during a speech in Australia. The Brexit party leader attacked Prince Charles, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the late Queen Mother. In a speech to Sydney's concert, um, he was critical of quite a few members of the royal family. He doesn't like any members of the royal family except for... ...pictures to cheer you up. We've got them for you. Wouldn't think traffic cameras would make for very exciting viewing, would you? But CCTV from one town in China has captured... There he goes. The best pictures you will see all week. Where is he? There he is. Uh, surveillance footage shows an ostrich sprinting through the streets of Yunnan province. <laughs> there he is. In uh, southwest China, although the motorists it passes don't look too perturbed. There he is. Um, apparently, the ostrich hightailed it when some guests were visiting his owner. There he is. <laughs> it's great. The escape bid lasted about half an hour before the bird was stopped and eventually returned to his keeper. Love. Quick look at the weather. Still to come on the programme for you this afternoon, the very modern makeover for a medieval castle in Cornwall. Talk to you about this bridge in just a moment. First, have remained and feel like a very long way if you are afraid of heights like me. More about that, joined by English Heritage Curator, Wynne Scott. Hi, Wynne, thanks for joining okay. us. Just, it makes me feel a little bit dizzy just looking at that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, it's a real thrill. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I think the the thing we like about it most is that it joins the two sides of the... It would be guarded by just three people and the whole yes. of England could try and um, enter the castle and they wouldn't be able to. Absolutely. There was a lot of rage, you know, so <laughs> it's sort of lots of these slates on edge. Five million, but that's uh, included... And it's open now, the bridge? It's open, yes, all the dark ages in the country. Oh, wow. It was bigger than London at the time. And it's even easier to explore now. The bridge is in place. It's good to talk Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Thank and you, you so much for joining us. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Coming up in just a few moments' time, we're going to be taking you back to... We show news views, in depth interviews coming up for you today. Trump tweets. Outrage as the US president shares a conspiracy video on Twitter. The glorious or inglorious 12th calls for grouse shooting to be banned as this year's season officially begins. And whatever you do, don't look down. A very modern makeover for a medieval castle in Cornwall. All of that coming up, but first let's take a look at today's top stories going nowhere. All flock squared. Yeah, okay. nothing to do with Paddy's play, but mm. oh, okay. that, that was a little treat. We're, oh. we're spoiling him rotten at the moment oh, because, fantastic. you know, he deserves it. He's been really brave throughout the whole thing and he never yeah. make a... You never moan or... So what we need is we need somebody who's watching this afternoon to register and then hopefully we'll get the match that we need. Absolutely. And then what happens, then you go into hospital and then you have the transplant and then... I have six, six weeks chemo first and then... OK. And then... You know, it's, it's not a simple, you know, for, for, for Paddy. Yeah. You need to get your life back on track. And it's not just for Paddy, it's for people all over the world. Sure. I mean, there's over 2,000 people desperately waiting for, you know, for matches. Yeah, so... OK. Is there a website that people should go to? Well, they can follow Paddy's story on, on Facebook via Paddy's Plea, um, but it is, it's just following dkms.org.uk to request that kit. dkms.org.uk. Yeah. Well, I yeah. hope that you're back on the pitch before we know it, young man. Thank you oh, so much for taking the time to come in and bring your mum with you as well. Oh, thanks for having us. Uh, coming up, it's the News Hour with Mark Austin. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.